Leanne King here, and this is my granddaughter, Samantha Jane. Say hi to everybody. Hi. And today we are going to be making hair guacamole. Do you like guacamole? Sort of. I'm a, I haven't actually tasted it before. It's mushed up avocados. Do you ever do that and eat it with chips? I never tried that either. Okay, well... I know that you have ate it all the time. I don't know. She needs more rosemary on her head. Here, let's put some on you right now. Right? Okay. Just pretending the lid is on. All right. So we're going to make hair guacamole for her. And because avocado has a fabulous natural oils in it that is really good for your hair. So that's what we're going to make right now. And we have one large avocado. We've already sliced it. This is... A nice, perfect avocado. This is what you want your avocado to look like. And this is how you can get your pit out really easy. Hit it with a knife. And then and you're going to need your food processor. And then you scoop the avocado out and put it in. Thank you. Have you ever ate an avocado in your entire life, Samantha? I love, I love avocados. Good. Do you like avocados on tacos? Yeah. Do you know that that's called guacamole when you do that? No. Okay, so you have had guacamole. Squished up avocados is guacamole. But we get squished up. Oh. She's getting all choked up about it just thinking about it. So, and then I'm putting in a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil. Now, when you're doing this, don't be afraid to add a little bit of water. If your avocado is a little bit hard, you know, it depends on how ripe they are because you need it, you know, soft enough that you can squirt it out of your... And this little thing just always hates me. Um, Grandma? What, honey? Isn't it supposed to be as thick as mayonnaise? Yes, thank you. You're awesome. See if this works. There we go. Now see, this avocado is a little bit harder than other avocados, so it's taking a while to chop up. And what I'm going to do is stop for just a second and make sure we push all this down. I don't need that yet, sweetheart, but I will in a minute. And this is like stuck on this blade now. Really? Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is a testament that you can have an almost completely broken, fallen apart food processor and it will still work. Cracks, it's warped, it got cooked in the dishwasher and it still works. And since she has a little bit of a cough, I'm going to put a drop of rosemary in my hand and I'm going to rub it in the palm of her hands. And you're going to put your hands together like this, put them not touching your face, put it to your face, not that far away, now breathe in deep into your nose. So you just do that while I'm finishing this up. Breathe it through your mouth now too. Deep breaths through your mouth. Now, some of you may be wondering, how am I going to get that stuff into this? Well, I'm going to show you. Why? Because I'm tricky. I'm magic. I'm amazing. Ziploc bag. Cut a hole in the corner. Tiny hole. Cut a little corner off. Tiny. Tiny, tiny. All right. Now we're going to scrape all this hair guacamole. Oh, I didn't put my essential oils in yet, in here, did I? No. no. Thank you. And I left the lid off. That's bad. So when you think it's all done, then you're going to add your essential oils. So we're going to add 10 drops of rosemary. 10 drops? Yep. And then, because it's not going to stay on your hair like forever. And then we're going to put um, 5 drops of carrot seed oil. Carrot seed is so good for your hair. And then we're going to mix it up again. Breathe some more, Samantha. Don't touch your face. And 
the essential oils are really going to be what breaks that down so that it will squirt out of your bottle. And of course it's fabulous for your hair and your scalp. And now we're going to scoop it out. You can stop if you want to. If it's making your cough go away, you can keep on doing it. So I'm going to scoop this into here. that I would normally take time to get every tiny little drop out of there, but I just want to show you how you can get it into your bottle. Can I help, Grandma? Yeah, you can squeeze that. Not too fast. Okay, see how that's going in there? Can you guys see that? All right, so we already pre-made one. I'm going to set this one to the side over here, and we'll finish that up later, and then we can do your sister's hair next. To get some of this stuff out of the way so people can see how we do it next. All right, so you need a shower cap or you can use a grocery bag, it will work too if you don't have a shower cap. And you need a paintbrush, this is just a little paintbrush I have, and a hey, smell your hands some more. Alright, so I'm just going to take like about a one inch section of her hair and I'm going to squirt this on, except for I think the lid is tightened, yes it is. I have to get it down to the bottom here. There we go. I'm going to leave it on its side so it comes out easy next time. Sort of like feels weird when it, she brushes the. Paper. Does it feel sort of funny? Yeah. She has really long hair, so I'm gonna have to do a couple of squirts. <laughs> and I would bring this all the way out to the ends. And then with her hair, I'm actually gonna sort of wrap that around a little bit so we can get the ends. And I'm gonna squirt a little bit right on the ends here too. Rub that on, put that right there, let it go over. It's okay, it'll stick to your head. It'll stick, and then you're just gonna keep doing that. One section of your hair at a time, okay? Woo! And you're just gonna squirt it on. This would be a fun mother-daughter or husband-wife event. You know, you need to bond, or actually, you know, my daughter, Rebecca, she has a boy who's not her boyfriend, and she made him do tinfoil curls in her hair. Okay, so he drives, he flies all the way out from Kentucky to come see her. They meet for the first time since they were five years old. He's been texting her because he's bound to determine to win her over. And so as a test for him to see how much will he put up with? She had him curl her hair with tin foil, and he did it. And then, then she actually put ponytails in his hair, and he has short hair, by the way. So these are not like these are like cupid doll ponytails, okay? <laughs> and so I'm getting this, pulling this all the way up to the ends, and then you can massage it in the roots. We're gonna pretend we did her whole head. So girls, if you need to test that man to see if he is husband material, have him do this to your hair or you do it to him. That's what I would suggest. That would be a good test. Thank you. So we're going to pretend we have the whole head covered. How long her hair is, I'm going to bet that I actually would probably need two bottles worth. Which I think we do have two bottles. But what I would do, if I was going to double this batch, I would not double the essential oils. I would just double the avocado and the coconut oil if you have long or thick hair, okay? And you're going to leave this on. Smell your hands because you keep coughing. Smell your hands, both of your hands. <laughs> Put them together. And I will leave this on for at least 30 minutes. You and your boyfriend could leave this on your hair for 30 minutes each. You could have a, a makeout session while you're doing it. And if you have some leftover, you could 
make some of the crackers ahead of time and you could have a little snack while you're waiting for it to get done. And you have an aromatic 